I have to film more. I mean, if I don't film more, I'm never going to get more followers. And I'm so old. If I don't film more, I'm going to die before I reach 10,000 followers. I'm like that old. Everybody, welcome here. Thanks for being here. I am sorry I was kind of M A A M I A, whatever. I was missing in action because it's summer. We have our nephew from Germany here for visiting, and we are out and about, and we were driving around and doing things with him. I feel put on the spot. I prefer filming when I'm by myself. I can't have anybody out there watching me. I'm a very private person. Since we were doing so many things together as a family and the Osmo Pocket is my newest tool to take with me on excursions, I decided I need a different bag. You may know that this is the kit that I created for the Osmo Pocket. It's a, it's a bag from PGY Tag where I have all my accessories for the Osmo Pocket always with me. And when you're out and about and you have your awesome pocket with you you may or may not need all of these accessories but once you put them all together in a kit it's kind of hard to break it apart so if I go just for a few minutes I'll just take this but if I know I'm going on a day trip or if I'm going on a longer trip I want to bring everything because you never know if you're gonna be without battery and you want your battery pack you want your little charger cables, you want your lights, your microphone, all the little things that, that work so well with the Osmo Pocket. This is why I like my bag here, because it has two large compartments. In one compartment, I can clearly fit the whole Osmo Pocket bag, and in the other compartment, I can put whatever I want. Wallet cosmetic bag whatever I want but the strap on that bag when you fill it full of stuff and again you may not need all of that stuff but once it's packaged nicely in a little case it's hard to break it apart it starts to weigh you down with just a shoulder strap so my thought was I need to find a backpack I have a shoulder bag now I need a backpack no, I don't. I want one, okay? Premises. What are the characteristics that I want in a backpack? First of all, of course, it needs to have some kind of a compartment that is padded enough. So like here, where is it? Like here, that I can put my Osmo pocket bag in. And although the Osmo pocket bag is fairly protective I just thought you know a little bit of extra padding doesn't hurt and, and so it's kind of it, it keeps its shape better so it needed that I wanted it to have a compartment for my iPad I don't wanted a compartment for a laptop that I don't have who needs a massive laptop to take on a day trip I don't my iPad Pro however I would like to take especially if I go away over the weekend but because the iPad Pro is kind of thin and sensitive I wanted that backpack to have the iPad compartment not where your back is but at the outside pocket because then you're not you're not bending it to your back and the camera gear is not all resting on that iPad you know what I mean stick with me here now it turns out that this is not really easy to get. There's not a lot of camera bags out there that have these two things. It needed a bottle holder and I would like a double bottle holder or at least two pockets on each side so I can put the Osmo Pocket selfie stick on one side and a bottle on the other or a tripod if, you so, if you're so inclined. Whatever, Like I said, two pockets would be better than one. And I love backpacks that have a compartment on the top where you can throw all your stuff. After long searching, I found one. And it wasn't easy. And it wasn't cheap. 
I present to you the Tanba Fulton 14 liters. The Tanba Fulton 14 liters. They also have the 10 liters, but the 10 liters is too small to fit the small iPad Pro, so forget it. So let's go through this bag real quick. As I mentioned before, there's a front pocket that opens like that. And here we have a padded, it's actually fairly stiff, a padded compartment to fit my iPad Pro. Okay, here is a nice little compartment to fit my phone. Here I have a lens cleaning pen or any kind of pen that you want to put in here. You can put that in another pen. And on the other side, I have my reading glasses. You can also put your wallet, even a big one like this, in between all of these things. Just let it slide to the bottom. Okay, and then you zip it all up. And the front is done. Let's go to the back. The bag comes with several of these foldy Velcro thingamabobs, which I only needed one of them. It has a compartment on the back. Okay, I put a, a padded divider in there because my bag is not as deep. And then I put my whole Osmo Pocket bag in there and I can access this like that, okay? And up here, I put one of these extra dividers in. So now I have room for my Osmo Pockets it's right there to grip it. And on the other side, I put my battery pack so I can actually attach it to my Osmo Pocket while it's in the backpack. And this is a divider that I made myself out of foam so I can just squish it down and the cable pass it by. That's the back pocket. On this side, there is a pocket that they say is for your tripod. And there's a, a strap here that you can... But I don't use it for that. I mostly use it to put my phone there in a, in a pinch. But you can put your Osmo Pocket extension rod in there, no problem. The other side, there's an elastic pocket for the water bottle. I'll just put that in there right now, so you see. Okay. There. The top is a roll top. It hooks in with this aluminum hook. You roll it open, and then there's still a Velcro on top of that. Oh, I hate Velcro. And then it opens up. And there's a whole lot of room in there. There's no organization whatsoever. So I was thinking about <clears throat> sewing myself one of those key holders in there. For now, what I did, there are two, two strap spacers, something like a Molly's, Molly strip or whatever they're called. And I got myself from Amazon some of these things. Do you guys see those? So you can put them on a one inch strap or a quarter uh, or a three quarters inch strap and then there's a there's a hook on them that you can rotate so depending on how you put it and then you can hook whatever you want on it and what I have on there is um, a little light because when you walk with the backpack in the dark it's kind of nice to be seen and I have my uh, my Moo Mini card holder, okay? Yeah, there was a chest strap on this thing that I took off because I don't need a chest strap. While I prefer having my iPad in the front of the bag because it is less susceptible to bendage, it's also a problem because the front has a simple zipper and in a crowd, in a train, in a subway or somewhere in a bus, somebody could quickly open the zipper and pull out my wallet or whatever is in there. So it's not really safe, but I found a way of that makes me quite happy to secure it. What I have found is a little tiny carabiner that I attach to the two eyelets of 
the backpack. Okay? Now, there's already some security there because now if you pull one, the other one comes too. The best thing about this one, I'm going to show you in detail. So you see how there's a, there's a carabiner here and a carabiner there. There's also a little tiny lock here. You lock it, okay? And now, guess what? It doesn't open anymore. You really have to fiddly click it open, rotate it, and now you can open it again. So for your average pickpocket thief, this will cause some issues. It's not as safe as a lock with a key or a, a number combination, but it's safe enough for me. This is just a deterrent, a little tiny deterrent. It, I don't want to make it that easy for you to steal my wallet. So these are from Amazon. I will put a link below because I think these are phenomenal. I will use these for other things too now. Now that I found them, lockable carabiners. Why did nobody else think about that? The best thing of this backpack for, my, for me is the handle. I've never had a handle like this. It's, it's a tubular strap and it's filled with a, a soft, cushy, kind of round, hard plastic, soft, cushy. I don't know. It's kind of, it's great. I get it. You need me to show you what the backpack looks like when I carry it. I am 5'9". I'm not a small woman and I'm certainly not skinny. I'm not telling you how much I weigh. You're going to see that yourself. This is not a fashion show. This is a utility channel. So yeah, this whole thing is black and it, that's why it's really hard to film it here. But it also comes in uh, khaki and diarrhea brown. I, I didn't like that. I, I, I'm not a big fan of the black, especially because I have a cream color cat. By the way, where are they? Not here. But the black is just universal and I and I glued a little uh, a little maple leaf on there I'm totally cheating because I'm not in Canadian but I live here so there you go I've used it a couple of times already the bag and I really really like it it's easy to use in the car it's easy to walk around with it you can put your Osmo pocket with the selfie stick on the side and just grab it swing around and grab it and you're ready to go and if you need anything else like light or microphone it's all easy accessible and the top compartment fits your jacket it fits some snacks tissues moist wipes whatever you need out in the road you throw that in there everything else is nicely organized in the front pocket your wallet your phone your ipad whatever all small items that you need it's all there in the front pocket the backpack in Canadian dollars was $150, the larger one. I think it's $119 American. Ah, you can look it up yourself. You don't need me to do that. These thingies are five for five dollars, something from Amazon. The Night Eyes uh, Carabiners, I'll link that all down below if you're interested for other reasons. That is uh, the new update that I have. Having a backpack at your disposition and having the option of changing backpack, shoulder bag on the fly really quickly, that's a good idea. It, both, both bags are very, very different, but both bags do the exact same thing for me in different ways. So shoulder bag, obviously not for the long haul. Backpack, not as easy accessible as the shoulder bag. So when you do a car ride, for example, you may just you know, want to use your shoulder bag. But if you have a car ride where there's walking with it, you want to have the backpack. Because the backpack works just almost as good as the, as the shoulder bag in the car, but way better when you're walking about. So it's nice to have that option now. And with a quick grab, I can transfer my entire kit to a different bag. There are options. I'm giving you options. You may not like what I like, but I think the least I can do is make you think and say, maybe, maybe Karen has a point and maybe I should find my own thing and maybe you don't like the one I like, but 
That's what I'm here for, to just make you think, do something, find a new way of arranging your stuff, and, and more than anything, get out and do something with it. Don't do what I do, buying all this stuff and then always sit in front of your camera and talking to people on YouTube. That's not true. I've, I've been out. I've done stuff. I went to Vancouver. I'll show you. I have proof. I'll show you a little Vancouver clip soon. I promise. So anyway, that was, uh, that was the ramble of today. I hope it was helpful in some way. I hope somebody learned something from it. And I'm so happy and thankful that you were here. And I hope I see you again in my next video. Bye.